Bahir, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, And good morning uh, Sekarang ini salam satu Malaysia uh, yeah, You know first who is my audience uh, How many of you uh, from Australia are mine? Please come here please I need to keep 10 minutes first Ok, one, only one Ok, how many of you not from UK? Ah Okay. Uh, why I ask that question is because uh, I'm recycling some of my uh, slides from my class. Uh, so I hope I do not bore my former students. I know that some of them are at the back, so uh, please forgive me if I do that. Okay. Um, we have heard that uh, the first two. Um, Uh, the first two uh, presenters uh, talking about the um, ways and uh, how we recycle uh, uh, bio-based industries, yeah, including farm oil, coconuts, and uh, things like that. Um, my slide will be more on the idea of uh, what makes uh, a tropical architecture. Um, however, however, at the end of the day, uh, the specification is all yours. You can actually specify any material that you like to in order to be more uh, basic in a way that you actually use uh, material which is not harmful to the environment properly. Um, if you need to ask me any question, please talk to me anytime you like. Uh, as an introduction, um, I think everyone knows that we think basically consume almost half of the energy we say. Um, and the energy that we use uh, significantly rises due to the harmonious environment affected by the dynamics and standardization of engineering solution and architecture solution. Uh, I'm not trying to uh, put a blending game, but I think it is something that we have to acknowledge that we technology uh, with our training, we seem to like certain things and at the end we, we forget where we are. And this is where uh, basic design is very important uh, to be, not to say really introduced, but I guess, you know, to make you finally understand that everything you do must be local based. And that's why I've got created this um, in Malaysia with certain skin, uh, uh, color, and round eyes, and, and, and those are because we are born here. If you are born somewhere else, you are going to have a diff different physical thing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Um, some uh, plants are very good in tropical climates, some don't. So we just have to see that um, normally what we can find or what we can find in our, in our location is basically the best material to be used Okay, and, and, and that is always the case. Today, most building tends to waste a lot of energy by not responding to the current definition and comfort recoveries of the inhabitants. I think if you, I hope you have time to read the next paper. Um, I read uh, during my <laughs> um, traveling here from Kerali, the government is trying to put in the uh, policy or enactment of 24 degree census in all government buildings. Yeah? And by doing that, uh, for all the government buildings, you will use 100 million singles per year. That's to increase the indoor temperature to 24. At the moment, we are using SA standard, which says 18 degree census. And if you include all the commercial buildings, there will be, you know, a lot of stuff, and that can be put into recycling some of this thing. <laughs> we are doing a lot of research about about this, this kind of uh, idea. <coughs> Application of robotic technology and mechanical aids for cooling comfort has also played significant roles in changing the basic design principle, which we normally use to be responsive to our context. Uh, there is no more need to actually think about shapes, forms, as long as you can install some of the steam upstairs or on the settings. Yeah? What about that? The comfort that you like. 
but how many of you think that with the comfort that we actually had today or throughout the day, so uh, we will make you probably sick at the end of the day? <laughs> Because they do not recycle fresh air, for example. So we are relying on the um, technology, but we do realize that it is probably good temporarily, but not really for a very long time. So there is a need to reevaluate and re address the basic planning and design principle. And designers are responsible for the energy inefficiency of the building they design. They must be ecological and sustainable. Why I say the inefficiency of the energy because I think this is the current time. You are looking at energy and then the day you calculate uh, how much time you actually release or mitigate. Um, this is from my other side, that's why it looks different. <laughs> um, uh, please accept my apology because I've been up and down giving care for last week, every day almost. <laughs> So I just spent some time last night to actually organize the uh, slide. <laughs> Architecture can be described from various perspectives. Yeah? I think um, historians see architecture di different than the scientists. The aristocrat and player of the cultural realm perceive architecture more so from the cultural realms. And on the other hand, the environmentalists, um, so called like me, see architecture from the environmental and biochemical angle. <laughs> In a way, if, for example, Malay architecture should not fall into being a trend or fashionable item, or Malaysian architecture to be, to be right at this current time, in the one Malaysia concern, it should be dynamic to change. Of course, we, sh we should allow architecture to change, uh, but we should keep what is local label, meaning that you know, what should we um, go into seriously and actually maintain what is ours. And one of it is actually looking at our own climate and, and context. Some definition, uh, just to share with you, uh, I thought this is nothing new. Uh, sustainable development applies to action developments that preserve the global environment and its own renewable resources for present and future generations. So what we do today, what we decide, what we do in our design, will have a lot of implication to our future generation. These are two of my students' ideas. We were talking about some of these things, and, and they come up with some brilliant ideas. Uh, this is supposed to be in uh, Bintang Rokega, but it has not been installed. Uh, this one just remains with a studio project. And why should we think about sustainability? Why sustainable? There are three basic understandings as far as I'm concerned. Uh, first is that our resources are in the thing to be called palm oil. <laughs> uh, if we don't actually manage palm oil, it does it very well. Um, that our decision may not be reversible. This is very, very true in architecture. You know? The cost of retrofitting renovation work is actually double of new construction, especially in this country. That we have moral obligation for future generation. Of course, this is, you know, this is something that I have said earlier. That what we do today will have a lot of implications for our future generation. And what is sustainable architecture? It is the art or technology of making within the human nature relationship. You see, I do not ignore the fact that we must, yeah, we must include technology as part of our, our design. We cannot deny that. And the other thing of sustainable architecture is, is very noble. First is to provide comfortable and healthy environment. Two, to maximize the use of natural energy forces instead of mechanical aids. I'm trying to say here, I will go through the slide later. What I'm telling you here is that we try as much as you can to work with nature first, then go to cycling and buy air conditioning to make, to make you comfortable. Yeah. Um, I'm designing my own house, it's almost completed. I put all the installation for a mechanical aids ready so that you don't have to knock down all the walls later. But I told my children and my wife, we will not install the aircon until you cry <laughs> after two months of surviving with the air conditioning system. So at the moment, we are living in the Dallas house, the air conditioning system is basically on almost when everyone is at home. 
Okay, the new policy will be up, so I hope I can manage, make sure better with my 